What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and today we are back here with another episode in the saga of Jackson King. Before we get started, be sure to go ahead and drop a like on the video, subscribe for more content, comment down below what you're looking forward to the most this season for the young Jackson King here as he starts his career and his journey with the Kentucky Wildcats. But without further ado, we got the first game of the season and reports out of Lexington, Kentucky are that the upperclassman Terry Wilson is going to get the start here today for the Wildcats as they are taking on State Foe Western Kentucky here. As you can see, Kentucky clearly the better squad. But without further ado, we are getting into it. Jackson King starting his career on the sidelines as uh, coach of the uh, Kentucky Wildcats thought that it was going to be right that uh, Terry Wilson gets the start. This is his team, the upperclassmen. Uh, but let it be known that there is a short leash. If he does not produce, then Jackson King will be getting into the game uh, sooner rather than later. So here we are. Very first quarter here. Kentucky up 6-0. Of course, we are going in and holding for the extra point. 7 to nothing. Wildcats here. We are looking forward to uh, possibly getting in here at the end of this game. Uh, if Kentucky can uh, blow out the Hilltoppers here. The uh, backups will certainly get in, and Jackson King will definitely see the field and will be able to see what he can do. So later here in this game, Kentucky's up 21 to three already with four minutes left in the half. Kentucky is on a roll here to start things off, but here we are, the end of the third quarter. Kentucky up 42 to nine, and Jackson King is on the field here for a second and 12, his first collegiate snap here in Division I football for the Wildcats. Trying to jump him off sides here. Hands it off to Smoke on the right side who gets stood up by the linebacker. A good play. Kentucky with 92 rushing yards on the day here. But the first pass here called in from coach for Jackson King. Getting off to, getting, being able to show off the arm here early in the season. Dropping back to pass. He has a man open over the top. Jackson King finds Oliver down the left sideline and the kids First collegiate pass goes to the house. Let's take another look. 57 yards over the top. The protection was there. Oliver just broke behind the cornerback. The safety could not get over the top. All King had to do was put the ball out there for him. A beautiful pass, and it is a touchdown. The first of Jackson King's career, and hopefully the first of many more to come here as Kentucky goes up 49-9 there on the Jackson King 57-yard touchdown pass. Back with the ball here, handing it off to Smoke, Kentucky. Looking to uh, run out this clock here, but Coach calling in a screen pass. King dropping back, drops it off to Smoke, who fights through a man there, gets close to the first down yardage, but does not quite get there. Kentucky going for it on fourth and one, essentially trying to seal this game here with two minutes left. Pitch out to Rodriguez Jr., who cuts up field and makes a nice play there. Converts the first down and certainly helps his team there. Third and seven here, a minute left on the clock. Jackson King getting another pass play called in. He's rolling out to the right. He's got a man that he sees breaking open. Lofts one, looking for his second touchdown pass there, but it is knocked down by Malik Staples. Kentucky would have to settle for the absolute dagger of the field goal to uh, put him up by over 40 points here as the kicker knocks it through for a beautiful play. So with seven seconds here, it looks like Jackson King just has to hand one off here to Smoke, and it will surely end the game today. Smoke carries it up the right side, finds a hole, gets through for a nice seven-yard gain there. But that will do it for the first game here in this kickoff game with Western Kentucky as the Wildcats move on to 1-0. and oh. Taking a look at the stats here, Jackson King, 2 for 3, 61 yards and a touchdown. Terry Wilson had a good day as well, but moving on here, to the second week here of the season. Jackson King gonna get some practice reps in here. Gotta be ready in case he is needed off the bench. Miami U, hopefully he can get some game time here at the end of that one, much like against Western Kentucky, to show the coaches that they can trust him. In this practice play particularly, he finds Rig. Rig's breaking through and scores a touchdown. That will certainly help the coaches uh, gain some trust in Mr. Jackson King. But here we are now, Kentucky in the Bluegrass Stadium here for the Wildcats. Wildcats looking to take advantage of this one and uh, gonna have a great game and get to 2-0. But here we are late in the second quarter and Kentucky getting their first points 
moving up 7-3. Later here now, though, 17-7 here for Kentucky. Miami, Ohio, as we see, scores. Gets the ball back. A lot of jockeying there, three and out. Miami, Ohio scores a touchdown, and Kentucky loses to the MAC. Miami, Ohio Red Hawks. Absolute calamity here for the SEC school. Uh, having to take a look here, Terry Wilson, not the greatest day. 14 of 36 there with a handful of interceptions. So moving into week three here against Louisville, uh, a change has not been made as of yet, but Jackson King is certainly ready as reports are suggesting that if the Wildcats don't win this game, a move will certainly look to be made as Jackson King there scores a nice touchdown in practice mode to make sure his coaches know that he is ready for game time. But here we are going into the Louisville game. Uh, looking to come out with a victory, big rival game, rivalry game here for the Wildcats. Jackson King starting off on the sideline here as we are getting into this simulation. Late here now in the fourth quarter, Kentucky up 17 to 10. They score, Louisville scores, and Kentucky scores again with two seconds left. Terry Wilson with a 76 yard touchdown pass almost as time expires. And then Louisville returns the ensuing kickoff to the house for a touchdown to tie the game with two seconds left. Absolute calamity here for the Wildcats. If they don't pull out this game, it is going to be trouble here in Lexington. First drive of overtime, Kentucky has to settle for the field goal, but the defense has an opportunity to win the game for the team. And Louisville punches it right into the end zone and they pull out the game there, 30 to 27 in OT. Absolute terribleness there for the kickoff with two seconds left on the clock. Taking a look at Terry Wilson's stats here, not the greatest, 19 of 43, a less than 50% completion percentage again. And as we move into week four, the coaches have made the decision to put the starting job up for grabs, Terry Wilson and Jackson King. So here we are, the position battle, for the ages, Jackson King looking to finally take over this team so he can help guide them to where they need to be. Terry Wilson not getting it done early in the season. Jackson King out here making plays in practice mode, looking to secure that starting job. Rolling left here, he's finding his man over the middle. That's Ali who gets a catch for a big gain there. Seven reps left, Jackson King looking to make the most of it. Finds Oliver over the middle there with a beautiful gain. He is less than 200 points away. Finds his man, Lynn Bowden Jr., who trucks a man, gets into the end zone for a touchdown, and that is the battle won. Jackson King is your new starting quarterback for the Kentucky Wildcats. They have had enough as we get this upgrade here to throw accuracy and throw power to make Jackson King even more lethal through the air as we move on to his first matchup against the ranked Florida Gators here. Jackson King will open his season as the official starter here against Florida next week. So stay tuned for that. If you've enjoyed the video thus far, and if you're excited for this Florida game coming up, make sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe for more, comment down below what your thoughts are, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.